huge dab. Good morning, you guys. Um, it is the, uh, what the fuck is today? It's Monday, June 5th. Sorry, I know everybody always makes fun of me. You're right, I can't even remember the fucking day. But if you guys can remember the day, and the date, and all that shit, and like all that on camera, I applaud you guys, because that's fucking dope. Because I have a hard time every day remembering what fucking day it is, uh, because I go to work every day, and every day runs into each other. It's the same fucking routine. Get up, get ready, go to work, go work for fucking 12 hours, go home, go to sleep, hang out with Sarah, do it all over again. So that's why I apologize, you guys. Every fucking day it seems the same to me, and I have to differentiate, you know, with the date and the fucking whatever. Otherwise, it'd just be like, yo, what up? Fucking, it's today. But anyways, so it's uh, Monday, March 5th. Heading into work right now. Um, I got a tattoo my friend Nora at 12, which is cool. And uh, she's been getting tattooed by me for, I don't know, maybe five years or so. Wow, quite some time. So I have uh, quite a lot of tattoos on her. She's a dope chick. But heading to the shop, gonna go hang out with Ernesto. It's Monday, so we're gonna handle some Death Before Dishonor shit. I'm putting in some orders for some new shit, so. I have some cool short sleeve shirts and a long sleeve shirt. I know this weather's changing, but ironically in LA, it's still kind of cold. And uh, I wear a hoodie every day. So um, I'm still in fucking hoodie mode, you know? So still got some hoodies for you guys, but I'm gonna switch it up and do some short sleeve shirts too as well. So you guys can get some summer gear and shit like that. Also have socks uh, coming soon. Um, in the next maybe next week or so so that should be pretty dope so if you guys are into socks they say fuck off on them and shit it's pretty sick um also uh don't forget to use that 10 percent off uh code on the death before dishonor website the code is black sean so 10 percent off on death before dishonor pretty much saves you shipping or tax or whatever the fuck and play or maybe takes a couple bucks off your order so it's pretty cool nice little discount code and i appreciate you guys support so it's nice to hook you guys up but i'm gonna head to the shop go link with frank I've been teaching frank how to uh chain stitch the last couple days he's doing really well so i'm excited to see his progress and try to you know uh get him on the move so that we can create melrose chain stitch into its own business so that uh, you guys, if you want custom orders or whatever the fuck, you know, maybe some a jacket with the backwoods on it or whatever, like you've seen, you know, Hood Rich Pablo or whoever, Keith Abe, some of the other celebrities that I've worked with. If you want a piece like them, then uh, you could, you know, we can custom order it and I can have it made for you. So, um, anyways, gonna head to the shop. High C's tattoo, you already know. Let's see what's good. You saw him in the middle of the street or something, standing in the middle of the street. Look looked cool. Yeah. Try doing shit with your arms, anything, like, you know? Don't face the camera, like, face Sean.
Get up, you know why? What you got? Uh, Trapping in tents. Uh, I got uh, hot and cold. I'm featuring my nigga Payback X, Holly, my girl Diamond Red. We all gonna gas on hot and cold. Okay. Doing it this week in North Hollywood. I did a ten song documentary on my nigga Real House in North Hollywood. No, yeah, I went off the other day. I was watching some videos. I was, I was pretty impressed, man. You got a lot of shit. I do. Yeah, man. I already know, like, I already know the talent, but I didn't hadn't seen like all your the history of all the videos, you know, and like the studio sessions and shit like that. Shit's really impressive, man. It's a lot of it. Thank you. Yeah, man. You're dope as fuck, Red. You know I got love for you, brother. Well, it's nice to see, you, bro. Yeah. Take care. Well. That's cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I love this shot where you have that, that mountain. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one would make for a cool shot. <laughs> yeah, that would look amazing. Alright? Yeah, so that's great. You're the man, once again, Ernesto. Yeah, that was more what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, it is way, this looks way better. Yeah, I think Pretty so better. too. Kid, you just got me a berry smoothie, and it looks kind of like a mud smoothie, and it tastes like mud, honestly. It's not that delicious. I should have gone to Nature Well, fuck. But shout out to Katie for getting me the juice. New vlog just uploaded, so. You guys can check that out, but obviously you're gonna see this a little bit later. Shout out to you guys for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. We gotta get those numbers up. Tell your buddies, tell your friends, say hey, check out Black Sean. I appreciate you guys. The love is real. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what up, what up? What up, dog? Where you come from? Come from Pearls or some shit? Yeah, man. Just had to run over to Fairfax real quick. How the waves looking? Had to cut them down, but uh, they are in progress. What happened? Man, I had a chick saying that the crib couldn't rock my do-rag around. I felt too unkept, so I had to give myself a New York. It looks clean, but the waves are gone. I don't know. Yeah, I know. The waves broke. <laughs> the, tide, the tide is fucked. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Still looks good, though. Clean. Yeah. Work. finishing touches was today a learning experience or what absolutely <laughs> Fuck. machine trouble and then we got it now you understand what I was talking about what you're gonna have to fix the machine you know yeah I mean, you, you just went through it, you know, did everything you know how to do. Thank God it was a fucking needle, huh? I mean, I just went through everything. <laughs> yeah. I adjusted the tension, I adjusted the needle, I cleared out the looper, and I moved the fucking uh, yarn around. I don't know what else to do at that point, you know? Yeah. Thank God. Got Sarah a gift. I got Sarah some pants from a store called Intermix. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Some sweatpants that she like is in love with that she wears all the time. They're two hundred dollar sweatpants, you know. Two hundred dollar sweatpants? Yeah. Are they really nice? Yeah, of course. What did you guys wind up doing the other night on Sun Sunday or Monday? 
Was that last night? Date night? What did we do? I'm trying to think. We went and had a date. Oh, we just went to the home. We went home and had pizza. Oh, okay. We didn't even do anything. That's cool that she's down and simple like that. She prefers that. She likes to just chill. She just wants to spend time together. That's cool. So learning how to chain stitch is frustrating, huh, Frank? Uh, it's, yeah, I guess a little bit, but uh, it's more like I want to get it right, you know? So that's why it's a little intense. It's not instinctual, huh? No. Everybody just doesn't be born and know how to chain stitch? I, I highly doubt it. If they, if they are, <laughs> I'd love to meet them. <laughs> if they could just first time on the machine pop, pop in and fill and do everything right can you imagine it's a joke dude it's like a motorcycle though you know who jumps on a motorcycle and feels all great on a motorcycle and doing fucking burnouts and shit nobody not one person usually eat it at least once before you're you got to put it down sideways and then you feel super weird and you don't even know how to pick the motherfucker up and you throw your back out because you're an idiot you're trying to pick it up by its handlebar and shit i dropped my bike in front of a whole bar don't you dare fucking pull out a stitch do you have a stitch in there no i don't think so Use the light, dog, please. Alright. I think I'm good. These are both, both these have been a lot of prep. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, Alex. Did you get a chance to, to run to the store? Yeah, we'll grab that for you. Until now. You see, when a guy has nothing to do, the woman he's with feels a psychological pressure to leave, which will often keep her from staying longer and buying more stuff. The solution? A dedicated man zone where guys can chill and relax while the women shop. That's sure. That makes sense. I mean, trust me, I know guys. All we need is a beer in our hand and a bro by our side, and we are out of the way. I never, I, in fact, never heard any guy saying that if I had a Brew and a bro, I'm fine. I totally hear you, but... Oh, do it. Copy considered art. What's the point of the art? I, I mean, what's the message? <laughs> I was stunned. We had more customers than I ever dreamed of. 11.30? Oh, good. We got it. Frank. Sarah got her gift. <laughs> Some pants. This is a protest against the Still, big fish. Frank stuff. How was today, Frank? Solid. Solid. Knocked it out, learned some new shit. Dope. Sight down. It came out good. Oh, yeah. Pretty idiot. Something tied to an art installation. Maybe this is Banksy. Before I knew it, maybe this is Banksy. All right, y'all. It's been a great day, as always. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.